me because I have a pretty good theater voice, but just in case. Okay. Am I good? Yes. Welcome and thank you for being here today. I'm very sorry for our little uh, gap in, in our activities this evening, but really glad that our guest uh, presenter here, Jay Shiv, is okay and things worked out and she could still be with us today. So thank you for sticking around and bearing with us. I'm Rachel Lloyd and I serve as the project director for our American Indian Center for Excellence. Hannah um, Berryman, you all I'm sure know, is usually the one up here coordinating these types of events. And I know she hates not being here today, but unfortunately she is in quarantine. Um, so welcome to our 2020 Miss Indian NEO pageant. Um, I think we're in for a treat here. We have these four lovely candidates. And um, really without um, any further, I wanted to mention that today, of course, is the first uh, year anniversary, our first annual or second annual Indigenous Peoples Day celebration as NEO proclaimed a year ago, October 14th of last year, that NEO would be honoring um, our history and our rich, um, diverse Native cultures on campus and the many partnerships that we have in place that we are so grateful for. Um, now I would like to go ahead and introduce our um, MC for the evening. This is Jaysha Lyons Echo Hawk. She is a lifelong justice seeker, community builder, and part-time marathoner. She is a proud tribal citizen of the Seminole Nation, as well as a member of the Pawnee, Iowa, Omaha, and Creek Nations. Jaysha organizes in rural Oklahoma for access, equity, and opportunity in areas of healthcare, breast and chest feeding, advocacy and birth justice, food sovereignty and civil engagement, as well as working towards strategies and solutions in areas of the criminal justice system and violence against women. <clears throat> Jaysha has helped to found Native Breast Week, Feeding Week and is an inaugural Indian Collective Changemaker Fellow. Currently, she practices as a two-spirit birth doula while training as a student midwife and pursuing her Master of Legal Studies in Indigenous Peoples Law at the University of Oklahoma. She is the Oklahoma co-coordinator for the Natives Vote 2020 campaign. Jaysha maintains an active lifestyle with her husband, Bunky, and their four children. Please welcome Jaysha. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. I want to lift this up. You just have to bend over. <laughs> and this is the, the. Is that better? Yeah, thank okay. you. No, I just thought it was a sad tea, such a chick study cube. Jaysha Lyons Ekoha, Jaha Jakaros. Um, hello, everyone here. Uh, my name is Jaysha Lyons Ekoha. Um, I am Seminole Creek, Pawnee, Omaha, and Iowa, and I introduce myself in the Seminole and Pawnee language. Um, thank you for having me here back in up in um, uh, the tr area of the nine tribes. Isn't that? Okay. <laughs> and I'm super honored to be here to um, participate in this, uh, in this event. Um, so I want to introduce Miss Indian Indio 2019 Madison Gardner, Cherokee Nation. She's gonna open up uh, this event with a prayer. If you guys would bow your heads with me. Dear God, I wanna thank you for um, allowing us to be here today. And I thank God for uh, all the um, accomplishments that are going to be made this year. Lord, I thank you for giving everybody traveling grace as they made their way up here. And Lord, I, um, I pray for a blessed year for the next Miss Indian NEO. And thank you for all the things you do. In your name I pray. Amen. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna invite the candidates one-on-one um, -on -one so you can answer your first questions. Um, do you want me to go ahead and read the candidates before? 
yeah, just name the candidate. We shall come around to that mic. Okay, so Madison is our first candidate. You can go ahead and step yeah. to the mic. Madison Gardner is Cherokee, and she is representing the Cherokee Nation. Maddie, please tell us about yourself and describe what you hope to accomplish for Native students and or your tribal community this year as Miss Indian NEO. Okay, Siona God, Galoanashtalado. Hello everyone, my name is Madison Gardner and I'm representing the Cherokee Nation. And for uh, my platform, I'm really um, trying to uh, advocate for cult cultural language and protecting the culture and making sure uh, we as the younger generation know what to do in like the culture and for the culture. And that's what I'm doing for the Cherokee Nation. Thank you. Madeau Madison, thank you. Um, I'm going to invite Samantha Good Eagle to the stand. Samantha Good Eagle is a proud descendant of the Iowa, Osage, Comanche, Oto, Ponca, Sac and Fox, and Potawatomi tribes. She is representing the Osage Nation. Samantha, please tell us about yourself and describe what you hope to accomplish for Native students and or your tribal community this year as Miss Indian NEO. Um, hello, my name is Samantha Goodigal. I'm representing the Osage Nation today. Um, I can you repeat the question? Yeah, for sure. So please tell us about yourself and describe what you hope to accomplish for Native students and or your tribal community this year as Miss Indian NEO. Our, the younger children more about our heritage and where they come from and hopefully soon have the students and community more involved with our culture. Hello. Hello, Samantha. Our next contestant is Carly Jones. Carly Jones is Quapaw and she is representing the Quapaw tribe. Carly, please tell us about yourself and describe what you hope to accomplish for Native students and or your tribal community this year as Miss Indian NEO. Hi, my name is Carly Jones. I'm representing Quapaw Nation and my goal is to promote physical wellness. Type 2 diabetes and heart disease is three times more common among Native Americans than non-Native Americans. And my goal is to promote the John L. Berry Fitness Center in Quapaw. They do a lot and they have a lot of programs and equipment that can help out with promoting the physical wellness and for students I would like to make maybe some small exercise videos and maybe start a group that we could all go and work out and be go together with people feel more motivated to be in groups thank you hello Carly our next contestant is Mika Matthews Go ahead and stand, please. Thank you. Mika traces her lineage to the Peoria tribe of Indians of Oklahoma, Quapaw tribe, and the Shawnee tribe. She is representing the Peoria tribe of Indians of Oklahoma. Mika, please tell us about yourself and describe what you hope to accomplish for the Native students and or your tribal community this year as Miss Indian NEO. Hello, my name is Mika Matthews. I'll be representing the Peoria tribe. And I would just like to thank you guys so much for letting me participate in the pageant today. Um, I will be promoting the mental health illnesses that we have around the nation right now, currently for our COVID situation. I would just like to promote that we can always stay positive in what we are going to do every single day and that there's not too many advocates to make sure that everyone stays happy and healthy at all times. Personally, 
Um, my first year of college, it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be, and I went through a lot of uh, rough things, and I was out of state, and I was about two hours away from home, but, and I didn't have anyone to talk to. Recently, I discovered that that's really hard for students that are currently coming out of high school and that are just jumping into college because they don't really know how college is and they didn't have time to prepare. So I just want to be an outreach to any students that are just struggling with school or with their mental health because we should always be able to make sure that we are here for each other and that any services that we can help with, even, even non-Native students or just Native students in general, everyone should be able to have an outreach to just be happy and make everything better. Thank you. Later. Thank you, Mika. So we're going to go ahead and bring the candidates up again, one at a time, to answer a question that they have not prepared for. It'll be at random. Madison Gardner, would you please step over to pick your question? And if you hand it to me, I'll read it. Whatever. Madison, why do you feel it is important to preserve the culture of the Native American tribal nations and their heritage? Um, I think just in this year alone with COVID, we've lost so many um, elders. And one being my grandma Dolly, I lost her July 4th to COVID. And, um, I just think it's very important to keep the culture alive and teaching the young kids how to speak the language, which is dying so fast, and um, just all of the traditions that we've had throughout the years. And um, I think that's just a big part of who we are is our tradition and what we do and how we speak. And I just think it's really important to keep that going. Thank you. Samantha, would you please choose your question? Thank you. Samantha, which of your personal strengths do you feel would help you in your role as selected as Miss Indian NEO? Which of your personal strengths do you feel would help you in your role if selected as Miss Indian NEO? Um. Can you repeat it once? I'm sorry, I forgot. Thank you. Samantha, which of your personal strengths do you feel would help you in your role as selected as Miss Indian NEO? Um, I think being caring because everyone's always going to need someone to be there. Um, Yeah, you can. Thank you. Carly, would you please step to the mic? Carly, what is one aspect of your Native American heritage or your tribal membership that serves as a source of pride for you? One of the things that I feel like serves as a source of pride for me is the fact that we are, we have a lot of adoptees in our tribe. We take a lot of people in and I think that's very awesome that we do that. Thank you. Thank you, Carly. All right, Mika. Thank you. No worries. Mika, elders are held in high regard in the Native American culture. 
How have you been able to interact with or learn from your tribal elders? Most of my tribal elders actually help with um, the powwows that we regulate throughout the summer. So when we are doing summer activities, such as the, um, the concession stand or any of the competitions that we have for our tribe, I usually try to help um, either educate everyone to how the powwows run and how the elders are respected at every, at every aspect that we have in our tribe and that I just make sure I support and do anything that they ask me to that helps them either have a better day or a better <laughs> experience with the activity that we are participating in. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Good. But Omika, all right, so the judges are gonna tally the candidate points now, and I'm gonna introduce who these judges are with us. Jamie McNeely, Corey Payton, and Natalie Waddell? Wadley. Wadley, my bad. Jamie McNeely lives in Quapaw and has three children ages 24, 23, and 21. She is a member of the Quapaw Nation and has worked for the nation since 2012 in the Human Resources Department. Jamie graduated from Oklahoma Wesleyan University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Organizational Management. Thank you, Jamie. Corey Payton. Corey Payton is an NEO alum and a member of the Peoria Tribe of Indians of Oklahoma. Through a partnership between the NEO, the Peoria Tribe, and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Corey earned her Bachelor's degree in Advertising in 2019 from the university. She enjoys working for her tribe and raising her daughter. Their favorite activities are bike rides and reading. Thank you, Corey. Natalie Wadley grew up amongst the stormy cliffs, black sand beaches, and lush, moss-covered spruce trees of Kodiak Island. She earned an undergraduate degree in art history from Iowa State University, and later attended the University of Colorado in pursuit of her master's degree in museum studies. She has exhibit collections and program experience at the Alutic Museum, and Archaeological Repository, the Denver Art Museum in Colorado, and the University Museums in Iowa and Colorado, as well as currently occupying the position of Exhibits and Programs Manager at the Shawnee Tribe Cultural Center. Throughout these varied experiences, she has traveled across the U.S. in her trusty 2005 Jeep Wrangler, visiting national parks, a wide variety of museums, cultural attractions, and friends. Her family still lives in Alaska, which brings Natalie back every few years to reconnect with her heritage. Thank you, Natalie. So now I'm gonna perform my stand-up, A. <laughs> we'll give our judges a few more minutes to tally up the scores. If anyone has any questions for Jaysha, I'm sure she'd be willing to take questions. She's involved in an awful lot. <laughs> yes? How do you go uh, like as a mom and actress and everything that's in this about being, being a super mom or not to yourself a super mom, but you feel a lot of sex? I guess we're trying to use data for that. Oh, for sure. Thanks for asking the question. Um, so I don't see myself like different from just just doing what we do. Like, I feel like um, as each individual, we have a gift um, that uh, has been bestowed upon us um, from our creators, you know, whatever respective tribal community you come from. And um, hopefully that's like cultivated and sewn into you. So as you grow and move in life, you're able to kind of just keep in the path. Um, as a parent, I actually was more motivated to not just practice in my culture, but to strongly like instill that in my kids and the generations going forward. I think it's very important to know who you are, where you come from, in order to be able to find your purpose. Um, so I'm very much driven by them. Um, so again, I don't necessarily see that um, separate from all the things that I do. It's always just an extension of just being a, being a parent or a caregiver. Um, but yeah, it can be a lot. I've learned to say no. <laughs> it's good to have boundaries. Um, and, and again, like once you like narrow down on your purpose, what your skills and strengths, you know, where you're most, where you can do the most work, I think, is what's really helpful in helping to navigate all the things. Because 
for me, a lot of the things that I do are very interconnected. So thank you. All right. Do we get a drum roll? <laughs> Good try. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. This year's, oops, sorry, 2020 Miss Indian O, Miss Indian NEO is Carly Jones. <laughs> Congratulations to our Miss New, or to our new 2020 Miss Indian NEO. I'd like to ask everyone on stage to remain for pictures and we appreciate all of you for joining us and hope you have a good evening.